So, I wanted to take a moment. Yeah. Recently, or up until fairly recently, I was doing a lot of work on my work in C sharp, and in C sharp, when you um, define um, a, 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 a variable or an object, um, some say a private um, um, parameter that you have within an object, you can say uh, as part of that definition create a getter and setter by just using get and set in braces um, and also a lot of the IDEs you can right click and you can have it generate getters and setters so for example um, if I was to right click in here notice it's just a basic model there's three variables and I want to generate and I want to generate the getters and setters and then I choose what I want to, it to generate. So I want to choose all three, and I say OK. And then IntelliJ generates those getters and setters for me. Now in this case, it's quite a simple class. There's only three uh, variables in there, so it's you know just three getters, three setters, and you can also have it generate. Um, your constructor if you want to um, you know and um, various other sort of things you can have it you can have it you know IntelliJ generate quite a few things you know your equals and hash code um, for example and so on so you know IntelliJ and a number of editors will do that for you and you know it, it works it, it does start to make the code a little bit longer so this was just a a, a, a very small model that had just three parameters in it you know the ID the name and a boolean value called is it true and they'll start generating stuff and you can see the files get longer and longer you know and um, which started off as three lines there's now more than that I'm not counting them exactly um, and you know as I say with C sharp it's a little bit neater because you could have in the line you know to say to, to tell it to automatically generate the getter and setter without actually generating the code. So what I'm getting at is it starts to get a bit long-winded and it gets a little bit more difficult to see what's going on. So, so when I started more recently moving back into sort of Java and, and started to work with Spring and Spring Boot, uh, someone told me about Project Lombok. And my take on Project Lombok is it, it's kind of one of these things that basically in the background dynamically auto generates um, the code for you. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. You know, that's probably a very basic interpretation of what it does. But um, just to kind of briefly sort of show, and, and this is my thoughts, as I say, this is what I've kind of grasped so far. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to include it in your POM and it's just a dependency um, you know you, you, you give it a, a group ID a project Lombok um, artifact Lombok the version number I've picked this I believe this is the latest one but it may change if you're watching this at a later date and I've to put scope provided um, and this is taken from sort of the project Lombok how to get it into Maven so once you've actually got it there um, this is again a very simple model and what you can do you can do something like at data and at data will go away and it will auto it dynamically create the getters the setters and various other things if you wanted just the getter and setter you have got sort of just the at getter and an at setter as well so if I had just at get and at setter over at the top of the the class, it would get create gets and setters for all of them. Or I could just put the at, at getter, for example, um, on one of them. So if I didn't want to put an at getter for all of them, I could put at getter um, and then an at setter as well on that one. And then I could just have make it easier to see by actually doing that and then for this line for example I might only want to have a getter so I could just say uh, get uh, 
right? So we wouldn't have this add data at the top, it would look something like that. And what that would do is it would generate a getter and a setter for ID, but we'd only generate a getter for model two name. But just for this example, um, you know, and, and get to give you an idea if you have never seen the product Lombok or what wonder what it is, and as I say, this is just my understanding and it goes a lot further than this, so don't take this as the kind of all of it, go and research it more. But uh, if I put add data, so add data generates a number of things. It doesn't just generate the, the getter and setter, it generates a number of things in the background. But you can see from there, the code is still very simple. All I've done is I've added one line there and I've added sort of one import. Right? I don't need these two imports because I'm not doing getters and setters. Right? So two lines have been added as opposed to this one where multiple lines are added with the getters and setters. So two lines. If I now go to just one of my controllers, for example, right, and I say, right then, let's create a, let's create um, a, an object from that. Right, so let's just um, model two. Right, it's a new model. I got this this model, this item called or this object called model two. If I go model two dot, now look at what's generated here. Is it is it true too? That basically is a boolean check to say it gets the value. Say is it true? You know, so you can say not. Is it true? Or model true or you know? Um, so if I was going to say like I could have that as like a, you know an if statement. Um, you know, um, or I could pull that into the value, or I could just say get. So there's the, the is is when it's a, a boolean value to say is it or isn't it, but you can see here get model name, so that gets the value that's in there. Or there's also a dot set model to name. So as I say in the code for model two, I've not defined any of these. I've not auto generated them. All I'm using is the project Lombok, and it is dynamically generating the getters and setters in the background uh, for me to use and don't get me wrong you know if I was if I was to create um, like change that to model one one just don't bother changing the name for a moment um, and let's do that there you know and then I was to go model two dot and again you know you, you if you if were to go down you should find that there's a, a, a get um, let's see called model two New model. Ah, let me just um, include this. There we go. So if I was now go and do that, you can see I've got the getters and setters because I've I've defined the getters and setters. I've had it auto generate the getters and setters. So you know, it's, there's no difference there. You probably find in this model too because I've used that data. There's actually more than than just getters and setters. As I say, but you know, it is there. And you've still got the is true, is it true, etc., which is the, the value in here. Whereas I've got is it true two on the other one. I know it's getting confusing because of the variable names. But the point I'm trying to get at is that what Project Lombok is giving you is it's giving you clean code. It's giving you the auto generation of the getters and setters uh, and other elements like constructors and so on. So that's my take on Project Lombok. As I say, it may not be the fullest take at the moment, and there are things I'd definitely say go and take a look for yourself. Because if you if you're uh, looking to to do uh, Java and your or Spring Spring Boot especially, it's going to save you a lot of time. And even the very basic knowledge of it, like I've got at the moment, is going to save you a lot of time. So that's my thought on Project Lombok, and the reason you should use it is look how clean that code is. You know, it's not as complex, even though this is very simple, this is complex to, to figure out what's going on as opposed to that. Okay, yes, it's not obvious from this point, unless you know what Project Lombok is and what that data is, it's not obvious what getters and setters are there, but it's just so clean and it just makes things so easy to read. So, Project Lombok, my take on it. As I said, 
I think you should go and try it yourself. Right, time to go.